just uh, did anybody come to celebrate them this morning then put your hands together for Jesus Hallelujah. there's nobody like him in all of the earth he's Jehovah Jireh he provides for us hallelujah come on put your hands together God we lift you we thank you God our Lord, our Lord he reigns there's nobody like our God nobody like our God our Lord, our Lord he reigns there's nobody like our God nobody like our Listen, God who is strong and mighty our God. seated on the throne
Father. Ain't nobody like Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nobody like him. Nobody like him. Hallelujah. He is my strength. Is he your strength? My God, my God, my God. Just pull on him. He reaches out to us. So grab his strength. He reaches out to us. So we have to grab it. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. We love you, Jesus. You are my strength. Strength like no other. Strength like no other. Reaches to me. You are my strength, strength like no other, strength like no other, it reaches to me. You know it, sing it. You are my strength. Oh, oh, oh. Strength like no other. Like no other. Strength like no other. It reaches, reaches to me. me. You, are you are my strength. My strength, my strength, my strength. Strength like no other. Like no other. Like no other. It reaches, it reaches to me. Yeah, in the fullness. In the fullness of your grace. In the power. In the power of your name. You lift you me lift up. Me
lifts you up? Is, is, is he lifting you now? Glory to God. He's a mighty God. He shares his strength with us. He's a friend of ours. He sits high and he looks low because he takes care of us. He takes care of us. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Give him glory. Give him glory. If you love him, you'll give him glory. Worship him. Because we do worship in spirit and truth. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Put an A praise on it. Put an A praise on it. Hallelujah. Tell somebody how he's lift you up. Tell somebody how he's lift you up. Yes. In the fullness. In the fullness. And in his power of the name of Jesus. What do we do? He lifts us up. He keeps lifting us up. Hallelujah. Okay, come on, sing with me. You are, you are. You are my strength. Jesus, you're my strength. Yeah. Strength like no other. Can't nobody do me like you. Strength like no other. It reaches. It reaches to me. Come on. Strength like no other. Strength like no other. Strength like no other. Can't nobody do it like this. It reaches to me. Come on. In the fullness. In the fullness of your grace. In the mighty power. In the power of your name. You lift me up. Worship. Give him glory. Give him praise. He's worthy. He's done so much for me. He's done so much for me. I got to give him glory. I got to give him glory. Hallelujah. 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 Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Our God. Our God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. Look to the hills where we come from your strength. Hallelujah. Give him praise. Give him praise. You can do better than that. Give him praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. 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 Nobody like you. Oh God. Oh Lord, our Lord. How excellent is your name. Your name is strength. Your name is power. A strong tower that makes me safe. Say, oh Lord, Lord, oh Lord, Lord, how excellent is your name. Your name is strength. 
strength. Your name is power. Your name is power. A strong tower. A strong tower. Makes me say. Makes me say. Oh. There's nobody like you, Lord. There's nobody like you, Lord. Everybody say, oh. There's nobody like you, Lord. There's nobody like you, Lord. Say, oh, A strong tower that makes me say, everybody say, oh, there's nobody like you, Lord, nobody like you, Lord, I search all over and oh, 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 there's nobody You're amazing, God, and none can compare. Say, nobody like you, Lord. There's nobody, nobody like you. Yeah. Lord. When I consider your heavens and the works of your mighty hand, nobody like you, Lord. Nobody, nobody like you, Lord. Oh, Strong enough to fight for me. Nobody like you, Lord. Nobody. Nobody like you, Lord. Hey, cause thou art Lord, all is shared for me. You're my glory. You're my glory. You're my glory. You're my glory.
like you. Nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you. You can search all over, but there is nobody. Nobody can heal your diseases. Nobody like Nobody you, can Lord. give you the peace that God can. Nobody, like Nobody can you, just Lord. send a word like God can. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh, oh. Nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Lord. Say, oh, 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 oh. See, I learned in my secret place that there's nobody like God. Sometimes we go through some things and we don't want to tell everybody our business because we don't know how people will look at us or judge us. But you can always go to the Father. He'll be your refuge. He'll be your hiding place. And I guarantee you, if you stay there long enough, you'll find out that there's nobody like Him. There's nobody like Him. I'm not talking about just going there and saying, God, I'm in pain. God, I'm depressed. I'm saying stay there till something happens. Stay there till the thing that has you bound has to let you go. I guarantee you'll find out that there's nobody like him. Do I have any witnesses in this place? Then you need to raise your hand to heaven. Because we serve a God that nobody can compare to. We can tell him all about it because he knew it before we knew it. There's nobody. Say, oh, oh, oh. Nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Lord. That ought to be your testimony. Oh, 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 there's nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Lord. There's nobody like you, Lord. He knew what you was going through this week. Oh, 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 oh. there's nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Lord. There's nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Lord. I'm glad that I know. Ooh. There's nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Lord. Hallelujah. I love that exhortation. She said, if you stay there long enough, if you stay in his presence long enough, hallelujah. Somebody's here another Sunday because I got to stay there long enough. Yesterday's gone, last week is gone, Wednesday is gone, last Sunday is gone. I'm back again. Lift your hands and say, I'm back again. Come on, I'm back again. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because how many know there's some things the Lord is working on, but it ain't done yet? Glory to God. There's some things you're waiting on, but it's not finished. Come on. Some things are better than it's been, but it's not complete. Glory to God. And so I come in his presence and I lift my hands and I give him the glory and I let him know you are my glory. You are my defense. You are my healer. You're my sustainer. You're my deliverer. You're everything that I need you to be. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, say I'm going to stay here long enough. Hallelujah. I'm going to stay here long enough. Hallelujah. I'm not just going to come to the altar one time. I'm going to come another time and another time. For thou, O oh Lord, are a shield for me. You're my glory and the lifter of my head. Come on. Look at somebody and say, he's a shield for me. My glory and the lifter of my head. He's my glory and the lifter. Come on, anybody living this thing? He's my glory and the lifter. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. For he has anointed me. He's anointed me. He's anointed me. Hallelujah. Nobody like you, Lord. Look at somebody say, I'm glad you sit next to me this morning. But tell them I'm not going to let no rock cry out for me. Glory to God. Matter of fact, I'm not going to let a worship leader cry out for me. 
You can lead me in, but you ain't got to do it for me. Glory to God. You don't have to command me to lift my hands, do my day. I don't want no rock to cry out for me. Come on, glory to God. This is not the right room for spectators. This is the room for participators. This is the room for a people that believe that God is working on it. God is going to do it. God is going to fix it. And if I stay here long enough, hallelujah, glory to God. Look at somebody say it's not over and it's not finished. Come on, clap those hands and give the Lord praise. Hallelujah. For you are my glory and the lifter of my head. Hallelujah. Why you hold your head up? He's the lifter of my head. He's my glory and the lifter of my head. When I want to be down, he lifts me up. Feel like I want to be low. He lifts me up. And don't let me come in his presence. Oh, my God. I have a whole posture change. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Better is one day in his courts than a thousand elsewhere. Clap your hands if you're glad to be in the house of the Lord. One more time. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's receive your families by teach with our welcome and our announcements this morning. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. That song says, it's nobody like the Lord. I don't know about you, but first fruit uh, service then pass. But I got to come back to see the manifestation of his glory. I got to come back and see what God is getting ready to do. Some of us thought that's what it was all about. But honestly speaking, it was just the beginning. Hallelujah. I got to come back and see. I got to be the one that come back and say thank you. I got to be the one that come back and say have your way. I got to be the one that says yes, Lord. There's nobody like the Lord. There's nobody like the Lord. God is doing great and mighty things. God is able to do exceedingly. I don't know about you, but I'm excited about God. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody move for me like God. So many things that the enemy wanted to do, but God said not so. So many things that the devil had plotted and planned, but God said not so. I can't say it was because of my goodness, and if it had not been for the Lord on my side, I can stand before you today and say, where, oh, where would I be? God is a good God. I don't know about you, but I came to praise him. I came to lift him up. I came to give him glory. He, if he don't do nothing else for me, I find him worthy to be praised. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that, all that he's done for me, my soul cries out. My mind cries out. My heart cries out. My mouth cries out. Hallelujah. I praise him. He kept me. He saved me. He delivered me. He healed me. And he's still doing it over and over and over again. So as we welcome you, that's who we're welcoming you to, to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I want you to know he can be your heavy load sharer. I want you to know he can be your burden bearer. I want you to know he'll be your leaning post. I want you to know he will be your great physician. I want you to know he's our bridge over troubled water. He's your will in the middle of the wheel. Those that are online, those that are in the house, that's who we're welcoming you to. A God that is able to do exceedingly abundant. He will blow your mind, boo. What you think he cannot do, he'll do that and more. He'll, he'll give you a peace, mother. That surpasses all understanding. You can't even explain it, Bishop. You sit down and try to tell, say, baby, I can't even, all I know is I got peace. In the midst of my storm, in the midst of my storm, we got peace. He's the lily in the valley, mother. He's my bright and morning star. So what does he mean? Even if you're high or low, he is God in your life. So if there are any first time visitors here, Please stand up on your feet so we can recognize. I get excited about being in church. Anybody here for the first time? God bless you, man of God. How, come on, give God praise. Oh, we got a guest in the house. Let's give God praise. We want to welcome you all, any, even our returning guests. Because you could have went anywhere else. Those that are online, if this is your first time, 
fellowshipping with us. Put a seven in the comments. And we want you to sit back so we can welcome you and recognize you as being our first time visitor. But we want you to know that this, this ain't just happened. God pointed you in this direction because he knew he had a word prepared for you. He got some strength to give you. He want to encourage your heart today. He want to help you to set your eyes on him. Hallelujah. So we want to tell you that you are welcome. Welcome, welcome. Come on, Hosanna. Let's get up and go tell somebody hi. Go speak to somebody you ain't seen all weekend long. Tell them how you doing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Give him glory. How many of you going to put your name on that blessing? Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I'm going to put my name on it, Bishop. Hallelujah. Yeah, I'm going to put a praise on that thing. Hallelujah. I'm going to put a praise on it. Hallelujah. 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 He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Enter into his house with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Let us be grateful unto God and bless his holy name. Hallelujah. Come on, y'all. Take KBI say. Yes. Come on. Let's say amen as we go to our seats. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you all. We give God praise, hallelujah, for each and every one of you all for being here on today. Excited about what God is getting ready to do in the service. How many of you are ready to see and to witness and to experience what God is getting ready to do? I'm excited every time I come to church. I don't know why some people come, but I come because I need them. Baby, Sister Gretchen and Gretchen be fighting all week long. Gretchen be trying to win, Sister Gretchen be praying. So I don't know about you, but I need church, Bishop. I need church. When he said, forsake not the assembling of yourself together as you see the day approaching, baby, I need church. I need the word. I need the praise. I need the songs. I need it all. I need it. Amen. So let's give God glory. Come on, put your hands together for Jesus. 
Hallelujah. We praise God for the leaders of this house. Our very own Bishop Lamont Hiller Jr. And our First Lady Tiger, Pastor Tiger Hiller. Come on, let's give God glory for the leaders of this house. Because when you don't come to church, they come. When you don't feel like praying, they pray. When you don't feel like standing, they ain't got a choice. You know, some folks can keep working and been fired a long time ago. They ain't never been fired and they ain't never going to stop working. And we praise God. We praise God even for yesterday how God blessed the church to go out, amen, and, 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 and uh, celebrated the life of Mother Lewis, amen. Come on, let's give God glory for that. I didn't get a chance to go, but I heard it was off the chain. I heard that the service was amazing. Of course, it was done in a spirit of excellence because that's how our leaders do things, Mother, in a spirit of excellence. So on behalf of Sister Maddie and her family, I know she wants to say thank you for all of you all that traveled, amen, to go do. Hey, man, we got to support each other, y'all. So we give God praise for that. Amen. Well, the announcements are accordingly. Bible study will be this Tuesday, y'all, versus Wednesday. Instead of Wednesday, we look forward to seeing everyone online for the midweek refuel. Amen. So if somebody's not here that you know, call them and let them know. Bible study is on Tuesday night versus Wednesday. And guess what? We're still doing offering on Tuesday night. Amen. Because we need to keep building up what God is doing and we want to be obedient to the vision of this house. Amen. So let's tune in, y'all, that's online. Tune in via Facebook or YouTube. Get online. We got to support. Amen. Because man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Amen. And then join us on Good Friday worship service. Come on, y'all. Give God glory. Hallelujah. We praise God. You better never forget about what was done on Calvary's cross. Because if it had not been for the Lord, what he did on Calvary, baby, ain't, would none of us be saved. So we have our Good Friday worship service. Save the date. It will be for March the 29th at noon. Amen. It's going to be at noon now. Don't come up here at 7 p.m. I said at noon. Amen. Y'all know about them noon services used to be back in the day. The mothers used to come up, boy, we used to have some church. So guess what? We got a chance to come together. Try to see if you can get our work plan and tell your boss, I got somewhere to go. I'll be back. I'm going to take my lunch break for noon. Amen. So we want to come. Let us come and reverence and remember the cross of Calvary. Amen. What he did. Make plans to attend, y'all. Hallelujah. Make plans to attend. And also Resurrection Sunday 2024. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give God glory for that. Hallelujah. Make plans and invite someone, hallelujah, to attend our resurrection Easter worship service, which is on Sunday, March the 31st at 11 a.m. Amen. Get in early because normally the seats are full. Amen. So let's come in and expect God to move, especially having people that haven't been. Some people don't come to church unless it's something like that Christmas. Or, so guess what? We want the spirit of God to move. We know. Come on, y'all. Some of us used to be that Easter Sunday and all that. That's the only time we came. But guess what? When God show up and show out, they may become members. We don't know. So let's invite somebody. Please govern yourselves according to the announcements. At this time, we're going to receive our very own Bishop Lamont Hiller Jr. Come on, let's get up on our feet. Amen. Say, bless the man of God. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Let's clap your hands for Evangelist Baptiste. Amen. That warm welcome. Amen. Powerful. Amen. And those announcements. Amen. God is doing great things, and we are glad. Amen. And so again, I say ditto. Amen. To all of our first time visitors. God bless you. You could have chosen anywhere to come and you chose here. We're glad you're here. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Pray you feel the love and the presence of the Lord already. It's offering time in the temple. Offering time in the temple. Amen. How many of you can't beat God giving? No matter how hard you try, the more you give, he give back to you. Good measure. Press down, shaking together, and running over. That's what the word says. Amen. Over there in Luke 6 and 38. Amen. Hallelujah. So if you need an envelope, raise your hand and usher will assist you as we enter into this time of giving. Amen. As we continue in worship in this time of giving, need an envelope, raise your hand. Amen. If you're online and you're giving, praise the Lord. Amen. You can type me in the comments and we'll recognize you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you're giving electronically, three ways you can give are right there on your screen. Amen. Hallelujah. Cash app. 
Amen, Zell. Amen. Or HosannaFamilyChurch.org and click the Give button. Amen. If you're online, the three ways you can give are right there at the bottom of your screen. If you're in-house and you're paying by credit card, we can assist you to my left. Amen. If you're paying by check, amen, you can write it to Hosanna Family Church or to HFC. All right. If you're giving the Lord's tithe, amen, you can come at this time. Bless the Lord. If you are tithing, if this is your Sunday and you are tithing, amen, you can come on. Hallelujah. Up at this time, bring your seed. Praise the Lord. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. In God worthy to be praised. Amen. Hallelujah. Just another day that the Lord has kept us. Amen. And we are certainly glad about it. Amen. We're glad about it. Praise the Lord. All right. Hallelujah. Tithes and offering. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's see. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. How many trust in God? Out here trust in God. Amen. Hallelujah. Yet trust in God. Thank you, Shekela, for giving. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Everyone sowing today. If you're paying your offering, you can prepare that seed as well. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's put our confession up on the screen. Thank you, Jesus. Teresa, thank you for sowing. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Have you know the power of life and death is in the tongue? And we have what we say. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Have you know the Lord is blessing you right now? Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's put our confession on the screen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Put that amen. Hallelujah. Seat in your right hand. We give God what's right and not what's left. And amen. Tithers and offering givers collectively. Let's say this. One, two, three, go. Out of obedience to the word of God and the love for my father, God, I give my tithes and offerings today. I'm sowing into good ground at Hosanna Family Church, and therefore I expect a good return. The word tells me if I'm willing and obedient. Today, Father, I'm willing and obedient with my money, and I believe that you are prospering me and HFC. I stand in faith that all of my needs and the needs of HFC are met. Today, I confess that you take pleasure in my prosperity. Whatever I put my hands to prospers. The wealth of the wicked is laid up for me. You give me the power to gain wealth. You give seed to the sower. You supply all of my needs, not according to my education, ability, or earning potential, but according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. If you believe that, shout amen. Father, I thank you for grace and glory for everyone that's sowing, amen, the tithe and the offering into good ground today. I thank you, Lord, that we trust you. We honor you with our seed. We worship you, Lord. We are yet still honoring you in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for we make a deposit, Father, hallelujah, today into good ground. And we thank you, God, that you're supplying all of our needs. Amen. For every household and, and the household of faith here at HFC. Thank you that wealth and riches are in our house. Thank you that we're living in the overflow. Thank you that we are running over and not under. Thank you, Lord, that you're doing exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ask or think. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, that we trust you. Hallelujah. We remember you. Glory to God. And we look to you in Jesus' name name. We thank you that the hand of the devourer is rebuked for our sake. In the name of Jesus, I touch and agree. 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 Thank you, Lord. I touch and agree. I touch and agree. Hallelujah. Somebody say, it is so. Amen. Tithers, you can give at this time. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. Amen. This is Trisha Terry. God bless you. Sending you love up to Michigan. Amen. Thank you for sowing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you're giving, amen, your offering, amen, you're in the hands of our ushers at this time. Amen. You can walk around and sow your seed today. God bless you. Hallelujah.
My God, my God is awesome. Heals me when I'm broken. Strength where I'm awesome thank you amen sister brianna ely thank you for sowing thank you jesus hallelujah thank you jesus to god be the glory hallelujah my god is awesome my god is awesome thank you jesus stretch your hand shout increase increase and release shout multiply overflow in jesus name come on let's give the lord a hand clap of praise amen hallelujah thank you lord hallelujah praise the lord amen to god be the glory all right how many know we still make an impact somebody say we still make an impact said again we still make an impact amen and there's some that are sowing their first fruit today so let's give them the opportunity let's give god praise hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus praise the lord hallelujah is most blessed amen we're making impact how many know he is first he's lord overall anybody still got your celebration in Jesus, I said, anybody still got your celebration? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah to God. Be all the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. All right, Elder, who do we have there? Bishop Praise the Lord. Bishop and Pastor Tiger, we have bringing their first fruits. Shanika Williams. Amen. Let's give God praise for Sister Shanika. <laughs> and Leonard Brown, sorry he's not here on his behalf. But um, our first fruit seed. I worship the Lord. I worship the Lord. With my first fruit seed. With my first fruit seed. Of? Of $200. Woo! Let's give the Lord praise. Right. I just want him to keep um, blessing our family. Bless us to get a better home. To Amen. continue to do his kingdom work. Amen. Uh, become better parents. Work on my attitude. Yes. And continue to bless um, LB business. Amen. 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 Come on, let's help her celebrate. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, let's help her celebrate. Somebody said, do it, Lord. Come on, said, do it, Lord. Do it. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, help us celebrate. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody say, it is so. All right. All right, Elder, who do we have there? Bishop and Pastor Tiger, we have bringing their first fruit, Sister Donella. Woo! I'm bringing my first fruit seed of two hundred dollars. I'm still praying for my Boaz. All right. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm praying for our family healing and wealth. Yes. And I'm praying to be debt free. Yes. With financial. Wealth. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. We believe it. Come on, help her rejoice. Help her rejoice. Glory to God. Time I turn around, it's blessings and blessings. Every time I turn around, it's blessings, blessings. Every time I turn, it is blessings and blessings. Somebody said, do it, God. All right, Elder, who do we have there? Bishop and Pastor Tiger, we have bringing their first flu, Sister Monique. Sister Monique, woo! I give my first fruit seed of three hundred dollars, and y'all forgive me because I gave it online. I wrote a whole lot, so I'm gonna just give a little okay. snippet. Yeah. I, I'm asking for, of course, for all my family to be in the house of the Lord. Yes. For us to have a stronger relationship with God. Yes. For generational wealth. Yes. For debt being debt free and yes. for my future. Yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Come on, let's help us celebrate every every time I. Blessings, blessings, every time I turn, it is blessings on blessings. Every time I, it's blessings, blessings, every time I, it is blessings on. Hallelujah, Father, it's for your glory and according to your will, we thank you that we're in a season of a manifestation. Come on, clap your hands. Hallelujah, somebody say, it is so. Say it again, it is so. Amen. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Still make an impact. We thank God. Hallelujah. All right. Let's receive a special ministry of dance at this time. Amen. Let's receive Sister Kendall Hillard at this time. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Come on, somebody ought to receive that. 
I said, you ought to receive that. Come on, high five two people around you said, bigger and better. Come on, bigger and better. Come on, come on. Glory to God. Bigger and better. Come on, bigger and better. Somebody ought to answer the praise right there. It's going to be bigger. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You can believe that that's all it is. You can believe that it's over. But why don't you open your mouth and say, bigger and better. I don't care what door closed in my way. I don't care what fell through. I don't care what didn't happen. The next thing is going to be bigger. Come on, I said the next thing is going to be bigger. It's going to be bigger and better. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Somebody open your mouth and give God a praise right there. My God, that's a good place to shout. That's a good place to expect. That's a good place to release your faith. It's going to be bigger. After all the hell I've been through, it's going to be bigger and better. After all the things I'm waiting on, it's going to be bigger and... I'm not going to cry over spilled milk. I'm going to thank God that it's going to be bigger. My God, my God, my God. Come on, eyes haven't seen and ears haven't heard. Nor has it entered to the heart of man the things that God has in store. You ain't got to take it, I'll receive it for me, bigger and better. You ain't got to want it, glory to God. You can be on mute, but I'm open my mouth and give God praise because it's going to be bigger. Oh, my God, my God. I receive it, I receive it. I receive it, I receive it. I expect it, I wait on it, I look for it, I meditate on it. It's going to be bigger. Look at somebody say, watch me this next time around. Watch this next thing that God's going to do. Watch this next thing that God's going to bring you. Oh, I said exceedingly, abundantly, above all that, I can ask or think, my God. Hallelujah. Woo, I feel that in my spirit. I feel that in my sanctified soul. I don't care what it look like. I ain't going on what it look like. I'm going on what it is. I'm going on what God said. I'm going on what God promised. It's going to be bigger. Hallelujah. It's going to be bigger. Exceedingly. Oh, Lord. Abundantly, above all that, I ask or think, exceedingly, abundantly, above all that, I ask or think, somebody say it's going to be bigger. My God, hallelujah. Second Chronicles 20th chapter, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, I didn't move out of small because he's enlarging my territory. He's enlarging the place of my tent. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Exceedingly, abundantly, above all that, I ask or think. Exceedingly, abundantly, above all that, I ask or think. See, if you can't praise him before it happened, it ain't no real praise. I said, if you can't shout before it happened, glory to God. If you got to wait till the battle is over to shout, glory to God. But you got to know that your shout will open it up for you. You got to know that your dance will open it up for Hallelujah. Exceedingly, abundantly, above all that, I ask or think. Exceedingly, abundantly, above all that. Hallelujah. 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 We moving, but look at somebody and say, that's where my faith is. I don't know where your faith is at. I don't know if it's in the low place, but mine is in the high place. Hallelujah. After all the hell I've been through, I, I'm, I'm ready for some bigger and better. 
After all the things you didn't survive, I'm ready for some bigger and better. After all the stuff you had to live through, I'm ready. Anybody ready for it? I know what that's like. I'm ready to see what that's like. Glory to God. Hallelujah. <laughs> I didn't have that. Wait, wait till I get this. Glory to God. Woo! I know that level. Wait till this next level. I know that income bracket. Wait till I get to the next one. Come on here. I know what those seasons look like. Wait till I get to another. Woo! Hallelujah. Second Chronicles 20th chapter. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Clap your hands for Sister Kendall. Didn't she minister that song? Hallelujah. I receive that as my word for this season. Bigger and better. It's your expectation. It's your expectation. God wants to give you more. I said God wants to give more. Hallelujah. Second Chronicles 20 verse 5. Glory to God, hallelujah. And I'm working my way all through this verse. But for time, I'll just read five through nine. How many ready for the word? Want the word? Bigger and better. Bigger and better. Hallelujah, bigger and better. How many know he's a big God? He can do it for all of us at the same time and he'll still have more. My God, hallelujah. He can bless us all at the same time and there's still no lack in him. My God, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm talking about my God. I'm talking about your God. Hallelujah. Then Jehoshaphat stood in the present in the assembly of Judah and Jerusalem and in the house of the Lord before the new court. And said, O Lord God of our fathers, are you not God in heaven? And do you not rule over all the kingdoms of the nations? And in your hand is there not power and might so that no one is able to withstand you? Are you not our God? Who drove out the inhabitants of this land before your people Israel and gave it to the descendants of Abraham, your friend forever? And they dwell in it and have you and have built you a sanctuary in it for your name, saying, if disaster comes upon us, swore judgment, pestilence, or famine, we will stand before the temple in your presence, for your name is in this temple, and we cry out to you. Watch this. In other words, he says, Lord, haven't you done all that? Haven't you proven yourself with all that? So as a result, and now we cry out to you in affliction, and you hear... And you save. I want to talk for the next few moments from the thought in the meantime. Somebody shout in the meantime. Shout it again in the meantime. Father, thank you for your anointing in this place. Thank you for this moment in your word. And I thank you, Lord. Hallelujah for, amen, hallelujah, sending your word and setting the captives free, sending your word and healing, hallelujah, and delivering. Father, we thank you, O oh God, that breakthrough happens as a result of this word. Thank you for answers and revelation and encouragement and edification. Build us down where we need to be built torn down and build us up father where we need to be built up and we thank you for what you're doing in jesus name amen amen you can take me down just a little bit in the monitor glory to god it, 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 it you know it's been said that we're either getting ready to go through something or already in the midst of going through something or we've just come through something can i get amen regardless of our situation we're always dealing with or getting ready to deal with something I don't care what season of your life that that's what it is. And some of us, even if we're not dealing with our own something, are also helping others deal with theirs. So there's always something going on. 
And for those who may not realize it, we do not always have time to prepare for these somethings because sometimes these somethings come suddenly. And it happened suddenly. And sometimes, amen, some things can suddenly happen or suddenly jump out at you. And each one of you, or each one of us rather, are getting ready to or currently going through, even if the situation just came out of the blue or just completed going through something. In every phase of our dealing with something, there is a time when we think about what we are getting ready to go through or what we are going through or just come out. I mean, in some way in life, that's always uh, the contemplation. I'm in something. I just came out of something. I'm about to go through something. Is that all right? And in every phase of our dealing with something, there is time when we think about what we're about ready to go through. The time of thinking is, glory to God, the time of thinking is what I want to refer to in the meantime. When we're getting ready to go through something, we often spend our hallelujah, glory to God, in the meantime, thinking about how I'm going to get through this. I'm in this season. How am I not going to navigate through this? We spend time thinking about all the potential outcomes of our decisions. Is that all right? We spend time, and sometimes we spend time preparing for the worst case scenario. Is that all right? And when we're actually in the midst of going through, we spend our time thinking about what is happening around us so we can best handle the situation. If I got to go through this, how can I be comfortable? You know, even if you're on a flight, glory to God, if you got a long flight, you're going to make sure before you get on that flight that you're going to be comfortable as possible. If I got to get the next thing to put around my neck, praise the Lord. You got to take your little blanket, praise the Lord. If you got to stop and get you some good snacks, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So sometimes, even here, we realize that we cannot control the situation, and we stop, glory to God, and we stop and pray, giving it over to the Lord. Is that all right? And finally, we reach the point when we come out on the other side, and we come through. And then I found out when we come through, we spend, uh, I, I, we, we spend our meantime thinking about what happened. Yes, we do. How we came through, how we got over, and, and, then, and then how to stop it, if possible, from happening again. And we sometimes remember, hallelujah, how good God really is, that he got me through it. But regardless of what we're dealing with, there is, uh, in the meantime, when you are thinking about what will happen, what is happening, or what has happened. Is that all right? Glory to God. And the Bible says in Mark 6, hallelujah, don't be worried about your life, what you should eat, what you shall drink, for your, uh, what you should want for your body, what you will put on for life. Uh, for is not life more food uh, uh, and, and the body for more than clothing? Look at the birds. In other words, say, don't you worry about nothing. God will take care of you. Is that all right? Glory to God. So don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will take care of itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. So in these verses, Jesus tells us not to worry. Advice that goes against sometimes every core of what we actually do. But we must understand why he says it. Glory to God because Jesus was able to say this because of how he spent his in the meantime. Jesus was able to say this because he had a relationship with God, hallelujah, and he was encouraging us to develop that relationship, glory to God. And he, and, and, and he keeps on to go through Matthew 6 and 33, seek ye first the kingdom. And all of this righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. Glory to God. In other words, this is what must be done in the meantime. What we do in the meantime will directly impact how we're going to go through something. It's not just the fact that you go through, but it's how you go through. The outcome of most of our situations are actually decided or influenced by what we do in the meantime. Whether we come out victorious, whether we come out with lessons, whether we come out with revelation, it's directly influenced by what we did in the meantime, what we did while we were waiting. Is that all right? And you got to move into that place. Somebody say you got to move into that place. Hallelujah. While decisions, come on, are made, can be made out of control, glory to God, is what you do in the meantime. Glory to God. While some people are fretting, glory to God, you got to make a decision. I'm going to still be seeking first the kingdom and his righteousness. What am I doing? I do this because Jesus promised me that if I do that, everything else will be added unto me. My job is to seek him. His job is to take care of the rest. Oh, y'all don't want that word. Glory to God. I said my job is to seek him. 
Come on, hallelujah. His job is to take care of the rest. Those things I need in my life. And this is what I found out. When I stop trying to do his job, and start doing my job, seeking him and his righteousness, things will fall into play. See, sometimes we conflict it. Come on, glory to God. Some, some time, glory to God, we all over the place because we trying to do God's job. And God is saying, listen, let me be God. Stop trying to do God's job. Somebody said, stop trying to do God's job. Glory to God. Having, understand, ha having, under, having that understanding allows me to sleep at night because I know it's not about me. And in our text this morning, Jehoshaphat, uh, he had a response to what he went through. And in 2 Chronicles 20 of chapter, it tells us Jehoshaphat's life and, and the fact that he had an humble heart and a secure relationship with God, with what God had done in his life. Hallelujah. He had done his first part right. He had sought God in his righteousness. And the relationship that he had with God was the foundation for his response of the situation he found himself in. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The scripture says, now it came to pass that after this, that the sons of Moab and the sons of Ammon, and together with the Moonites, they came to make war against Josephat. So Josephat had three enemies coming against him at the same time. Out of nowhere, without warning, three nations joined together to start war against Jehoshaphat and Judah. And when Jehoshaphat learns of his impending attack through the servant, he became alarmed. And the first thing he did was to seek God out. And verse 5, the fir and verse 3, it says, Jehoshaphat was afraid and turned his attention to the Lord. And he proclaimed a fast throughout the all of Judah. He said, wait a minute, everybody about to turn their plate over. We got three nations coming against us at one time. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The first thing he did was seek God through prayer. He focused on God, not his problem. He could do this because of the relationship that he had with God. Jehoshaphat decided within himself to go directly to God for advice. He also called upon people to fast with him. Glory to God. Because sometimes eating can be a comfort during times of stress. But if you're truly seeking God, that might be a good time to fast instead. And all the emotional eaters said, Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Come on, glory to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because sometimes the problem ain't fixed, but an Oreo would sound real good right now. Lord Jesus, some cookies and cream, ice cream, you know, it ain't going to fix it, but you know. Come on, help me. See, I know, I, I know I'm not out here about myself. Hallelujah. <laughs> Next thing, shift your focus. Somebody say shift your focus. Jehoshaphat went to God in prayer. He focused on God and, and, and on, he focused on God immediately and not the impending attackers. Now notice what took place. Can I have verse four? Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Jehoshaphat. Hallelujah. Jehoshaphat. Hallelujah. So Jehoshaphat gathered together to ask help from the Lord. And from all the cities of Judah, they came to seek the Lord. In this verse, we see all the people come together to seek the Lord. Although they were entering to a time of battle, everybody turned their face to seek the Lord. Understand that when you're going through it, hallelujah, it's a good thing, hallelujah, to, to seek the Lord yourself. And it's not a bad thing to ask others to intercede with you, stand with you, pray with you, cover you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And Jehoshaphat and all the people were calling out to God. And verse 6, they said, O Lord of our fathers, glory to God. Hallelujah. And, and, and it says, Hallelujah, you've done all these things for us. Glory to God. And, and another generation said, should evil come upon us now? The sword, the judgment, the pestilence, the famine. Glory to God. We, we will stand before this house and before you. Your name is in this house. And we cry out to you in our distress. And I know you will hear us and deliver us. Is that all right? In these verses, Jehoshaphat, in the, in the midst of the people of Judah, reminds the Lord of his covenant relationship with him. He wanted the people to know what he already knew. The Lord would keep his promise. He wanted to remind everybody what the Lord had already done. See, in reminding God of his promise, he begins by asking God questions. You know, he just phrased it different. The quest, these questions, he implied the following inferences. Hallelujah to the sons of Moab was preparing them for tact. Glory to God. In other words, he was saying, how dare they come against us? 
when we serve a God who's in control. How dare they come against us when you think about all the things the Lord has done? And so he was asking things in a question form, but he was reminding everybody about the previous victories that they walked through. These, these questions implied. Glory to God. Hallelujah. In other words, he was talking like this. God, do they not understand that it is you who we serve and it is you who will protect us? How dare they come against you? Let, let, let me help you right there. When you are, hallelujah, in such a tight relationship with God, there are going to be times that you're going to go through some things and you will wonder. And, 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 and you will wonder, do these people know the God I serve? I, I, I know they're coming against me, but do they know who got my back? Do they know the type of angels that's watching over me? Do, do they know, hallelujah, that I'm a friend of God? See, see, hallelujah, they may think I ain't got no friends in the natural but do they know I'm a friend of God? Do they not know that God loves me? Do they not know that God looks out for me? Do they not know that God will fight my battle? In verse 9, we see Jehoshaphat speaking in confidence. For the people had already taken a stand for what they believed. Hallelujah. He nor they were wavering or unsure about what he was saying. And they believed and expected that God will deliver. And the last sentence tells us, and we cry out to you in our distress and you will hear us and you will save us. Is that all right? He was not asking God. He was reminding God of what he already promised. This kind of acknowledgement takes place between two people who are in a committed relationship where promises are made and expected to be kept. In other words, I'm in covenant with God. I can't get nobody. Do, do, do not misunderstand that Jehoshaphat was saying, glory to God, will you hear and save us? He was not giving God a command to tell God wh what God was going to do. He was speaking from a viewpoint of knowledge. He knew that God was going to do based on their relationship with him. He was only speaking with confidence of someone who knew and understood the heart of God. He had a revelation. I'm in covenant with God and God, you are a covenant keeper. And will you not save and heal? In other words, I'm speaking from knowledge based on my relationship with him. He knew who he was. Somebody say he knew who he was. Hallelujah. And this is the season we got to speak based on our knowledge of the relationship with him. Hallelujah. All through the word of God. Hallelujah. Therefore, let us draw near to God with confidence. Hallelujah. That we may receive grace in the time of need. Hallelujah. They speak of the promises that are given to the children of God. And in order to fully understand and walk in these promises, you got to seek God in his righteousness. The seeking, when you seek God and when you got a relationship with God, this causes, this will cause to develop a relationship with God, which gives us confidence that he can do anything. Hallelujah. His relationship with God is so intact. I know you want to be tight with everybody else, but make sure you're tight with God. Hallelujah. I know, I know, I know everybody else know who you, but do God know you? Glory to God. Like the song said, I know my Redeemer live. You don't run up to me late in the afternoon and tell me my, I don't know my Redeemer live. You know why I know he live? Because I spoke with him this morning. Y'all don't want to talk. He lives. He lives. Christ Jesus lives in me. He walks with me. He talks with me. He tells me I'm his own. And because of this relationship with God, we can come before God just as Joseph had did in extreme confidence. Somebody say extreme confidence. The Lord told me to tell you it's not time to wonder. It's time to know. When you're going through a situation, it's not the time to come before God wondering, hallelujah, but you got to know, hallelujah, hallelujah, you got to know that you're a friend of God. Come on here, and this is the time based on, based on your relationship with him. Come boldly before him. Glory to God. You don't, and listen, you don't, you don't have to know how he's going to do it. You just need to know he will fulfill his promise. I'm past how. I just know he going to fulfill, Lord Jesus. See, some folk can't praise him till they know how. But there's another people that's in faith that say, I just know he's going to fulfill it. I don't got all the details. I don't know how he's going to work it out. I don't got a date on the calendar. All I know is he's going to fulfill what he said. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And when we acknowledge God for who he is, and understand who we are in him, we can be just like Jehoshaphat and come before him in confidence. Hallelujah. Go to verse 12 for me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. When we come to God and come, we must acknowledge that he's the only one. Hallelujah. Come on, y'all. Stay plugged in. Glory to God. Oh, my God. Will you not judge them? Be real. But we have no power against this great multitude that's coming against us. Guess what? Nor do we know what to do. I got three nations coming against me. Earth, I don't even know how I'm going to get out of this. But our eyes are on you. Have you ever been in a situation you really didn't know what to do? Or there was nothing you could do? Back was against the wall. Didn't know where the money was coming from. And this is especially bad when you are a leader and everybody looking to you to give direction. There have been many decisions that have been made that were wrong because the person that was making a decision refused to acknowledge that he or she didn't know what to do. And then we act like we know what to do and do something we don't know what we're doing and make a bigger mess. You made a bigger mess because you act like more than you are capable of. Well, Y'all don't want to talk in here. And now the problem is bigger, messier, Because you act like you have expertise in a matter. Can I talk? In this situation, Joseph had did something most leaders would never consider doing. He said before all the people, they could not win this fight. Is that all right? And he didn't know what to do. Hallelujah. Here's my next point. This is a season. Don't be afraid to say, I don't know. I gave that point the first. I said, does that sound right? I don't sound right, but it's real. Don't be afraid to say, I don't want to talk. Well, we want to be deep and wonderful. When a leader stands up and says, we got no hope of winning, the normal response is for the people to lose hope. What Jehoshaphat said was that they could not win it. Glory to God. And they did not know what to do. Watch this. So we turn into God. <laughs> Why are you running hard like you running? Because I don't know what to do. So I'm turning to God. What Jehoshaphat said was that they could not win. So we turned. They, when I read this, this thing blessed me. Because in the midst of this unexpected attack, he knew enough to turn to God. He knew enough to say, I don't know, but I know the one who does know. I can't fix it, but I know the one that will fix it. I can't bring me out, but I know the one. You got the wisdom? I don't. So I'm turning to God. What are we going to do next? I don't have it, so I'm turning to God. Why are you running hard for your life? Because I don't know what to do. I got to turn to God. And I got to typically stay there long enough until the wisdom downloads, until the knowledge downloads, until I get the revelation, until I get the information. Watch this. I got to stay there long enough to get my second breath. But let me sit here long enough to get strength to deal with this now. I don't know what to do. One translation says, we are at a loss on what to do, but our eyes are upon you. When we're going through a situation, you've got to learn how to turn it over to God and allow him to work it out. Remember the song, Jesus will work it out? That's right, but that part, if you let him. Because he'll step back and let you do it. You got it. Go ahead. My God, hallelujah, acknowledge me in all your ways. But if you don't want to acknowledge, all right, superwoman. I don't know how I'm going to make it. I don't know how I'm going to get through it. I don't know how I'm going to run through this. Is that all right? I don't know. So guess what I do? So, so we turn our eyes to you. That's when they says, oh, oh, God, Jehovah, hallelujah, we don't know what to do. We're helpless against this large army. So we look to you for help. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, as a pastor, this is a strange prayer. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And on Wednesday, we came in and rent the heavens. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And Jehoshaphat in his prayer, in his prayer, admitted his worst fears in the presence of an entire nation and prayed in front of everyone about how weak he was. Mm, maybe not a good idea. 
But he wasn't concerned about inspiring confidence in his leadership. His only concern was inspiring faith in God's ability to deliver his people. From a human perspective, what Joseph had did was political suicide. But from God's perspective, it was the kind of prayer that God honors. Because you didn't got yourself all out of the way. You're out of options and ideas, and now you're looking for me. When your back is against the wall, you be like, Lord, you all I got. <laughs> if you don't help me, I won't be helped. If you don't deliver, I won't be delivered. If you don't bring me out. And while the game was on for Jehoshaphat, for the nation of Judah, it was game over for the enemy. Is that all right? Glory to God. Be because, because, because when, 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 when men and women of God get in place and lay it all on the altar, you will see God's deliverance. Our problem is we got to keep a mask and we got to keep up everything like we got it all. You, you got to be real driving your car and you said, Lord, Tony, Lord, I don't know what I'm going to do about this. Because I done tried this and that didn't work. I done tried this and that didn't work. I... Lord Jesus, is that all right? Without faith, it's impossible to please God. See, faith isn't something that needs to be used to get us out of scrapes and difficulties. Our business is to have those same words of faith. Is that all right? Even when you're in the fiery furnace. <laughs> Hallelujah. The king said, you think it's over. They said, listen, if he don't deliver, I know that he's able. You need to have that type of faith. Glory to God. I mean faith even in the meantime. I mean faith not before or after you come out, but even in the meantime. Like Job said, though you slay me, yet will I trust you. And you know, I'm talking about in the meantime faith. Esther was willing to die. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And in the meantime, she said, if I perish, let me perish. But, but I'm going to see the king. Glory to God. And some of you say, what is the use of being a believer? You got troubles too. Yes, I do. Hallelujah. But unbelievers still have nobody to go to. I go to the rock that's higher than I. Jehoshaphat and his men didn't have to fight the battle. The Bible said they collected a plunder. They walked in and reaped. Glory to God. Reaped, reaped amounts of good. Hallelujah. Have you ever noticed, glory to God, that the things that are seen, it's the things that are seen that's caused the most trouble? This was a case with Jehoshaphat. They saw a large army. Are y'all here? They saw a large army. God told them not to be discouraged by what you saw. He's asking them to use unseen faith in him to deal with the seen army. And when Jehoshaphat heard this, he dismissed his fear, not because they were not real, but because he made a deliberate decision to put his trust in the living God. When we act in faith, we're making a conscious decision. You got to make a decision not to fear. I said you got to make a decision not to fear when you got every reason to be scared. And when we act in faith, we turn our faces from the problem towards the Lord and his promises. When you're walking in faith, faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things. I got another way of saying it. Faith is believing that God is doing a whole lot more behind your back than you see in front of your face. But we get caught up in what we see. Is that all right? We get caught up in what we see. But God doesn't say, hallelujah, what he sees. He says what he wants. Says what he want to manifest. Says what it shall be. Is that all right? And I don't care what you see or what your condition is. Judah began to praise God before the battle, and God was so moved that he sent an ambushment against the enemy. That's why you don't got to wait till the battle is over. You can shout right now. Hallelujah. And because the people began to trust God in the meantime, God sent confusion in the enemy's camp, and they all began to turn on each other and kill each other. So stop crying. Stop pacing the floor. Go wash your face. You're going to win. Somebody say, you're going to win. God fought, God fought for them, and they witnessed the outcome. Is that all right? And the Bible says they assembled in the valley to celebrate, and that's the place that we got to do. Somebody say, it does matter what I do in the meantime. You got to keep your eyes on him regardless of what. You can't jump in this thing and jump out. 
Be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. And we know that all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord and called according to his purpose. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And enemy turned on each other. Is that all right? Glory to God. Hallelujah. And you got to move into that place. They begin to praise and worship God. In the meantime. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And enemy turned on themselves. They say the song said, when praises go up, blessings come down. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Somebody say, in the meantime. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that's the thing. And that's the thing. See, this is how this thing is set up. So, listen, some stuff you got to fight and some stuff you don't have to fight. Is that all right? I mean, you prepare to fight, but you might not have to use it. I mean, you got your weapons. <laughs> you prepared to go to battle. But at any minute, the Lord said, I'll switch this thing and you don't even have it. They were ready to go, but the Lord got in the middle of the Lord Jesus. So you don't know what your praise will stop, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thought I had to go there, but I didn't have to go there. So Sometimes God would dismiss the conversation before you had to say it. Because the Lord worked it out. Come on, on Tuesday I was about to and the Lord fixed it by Monday. Y'all don't want to talk in here. I mean, we train to fight, but you may not always have to use your training. Lord Jesus, hallelujah. And some folks say, I'm a fighter. Don't, listen, I don't, don't run up on me. I know how to fight. But I ain't got to fight like that. But understand, though. No. Right, but, but, but. Is that all right? Glory to God. God did it in such a way they didn't have to fight. I prophesy to somebody, God's going to move in such a way. Is that all right? Glory to God. I, 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 I saw God fix things before it got messy. I've seen God fix stuff because if it would have been handled, it would have been some collateral damage. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. He'll fix it for you. Somebody say he'll fix it up. Sometimes God allows somebody to break up with you before you got to break up. I don't want to talk in here. Amen. He'll do it. Somebody tell you it's over before you had to say it. You was planning all this stuff and then it just... It just fell apart, and you was like, oh, okay, Lord. Oh, I thought, whew, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was. And then when it happened like that, you're like, okay. As a pastor, I've had folks sit down before I had to sit them down. Sometimes the Lord will fix it. He'll move folk out and move them in. And sometimes he'll do it for you. Now you're prepared to do what you got to do. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying in the Holy Ghost. But sometimes he'll do it for. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Is that all right? He did it for him. Somebody say he did it for him. Say it again. He did it for him. And when the fight was over, all they had to do was walk in the midst of the battlefield and collect the spoils. As much as they could take. Is that all right? Glory to God. Now, they was ready for it, but they ain't had to use what they was ready for. Lord Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. I, I prophesy. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I prophesy in this house. You got the money for some stuff, but you ain't going to have to use your money for what you got money for. I just heard that in the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. It's not that you don't have it, but God going to make the way. I'm prepared for it, but before I need to do it, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah. He will, he will bring you through and the reward. See, that's the type of God you serve. He'll position you. 
Y'all don't want to talk in here. I just want to make sure that you're obedient enough. Come here, Abraham. Take Isaac up there. Y'all don't want to talk in here. Put that knife up. I can't get nobody. Okay, I know you're good. You ain't got to do that. There's a ram in the bush for you. I just wanted to see, would you trust me? And sometimes God will get you to the last minute, to, to 1159, and then he'll make a whole nother way. And he just wanted to see, will you trust me to midnight, Lord Jesus? Will you trust me? When it get to the end, will you trust me, Lord Jesus? Right before the deadline, will you trust me? I prophesy, glory to God. You got some help, and you're going to have to call some help back and say, you know what, I'm saying I don't even need it. Lord Jesus, hallelujah. Somebody say, I trust God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you go, oh, somebody ought to receive that. wasn't in my notes. You ought to receive that. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 When, you, when you're going through something, you go to pray in confidence. Is that all right? Is that all right? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And sometimes you, you, ain't, got, you, you ain't got to take no for an answer. You got to know. You, you got to know. Is that all right? When, when you're going through some things, you go to God in prayer with confidence. Glory to God. Why are you going through something? Glory to God. And sometimes you got to know, listen, God just loved me. God just loved me. I wasn't going to share this, but it's in my sermon, so I'm going to share it. We, were, we had a wonderful homegoing celebration yesterday. Let's give God praise. Powerful, excellent, wonderful. So me and First Lady went down, blessed the Lord the night before. Hotel room and all that type of things. Is that all right? Glory to God. So as it is a custom, bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hi, First Lady. Holly, she's not the early riser when we go on vacation or when we out. So normally I eat and bring food back. So I went down because it was breakfast time, and I said, hey. And they said, dining in only. And I understood the rule. I understood the rule. I said, hey, hey how nice that could be. I'm here. I got two vouchers for breakfast. Bless the, but, but I'm going to take one back up for my wife. Well, no, we don't allow that. No, but I got paid vouchers for. I can't take it back. No, it's okay. I just went on in, okay, and I went. I went and ate. Praise the Lord, and I found somebody else. I said, "Hey, how you doing? I'm here, and, and I had to use the wisdom to tell you, I'm here for a funeral. Y'all know what I'm talking to." You. I drove all the way from Houston. I got the resolution right here. I'm the pastor. We have a church mother in our church. And my wife is upstairs resting. I'm down here, but she's not feeling like coming down. Can I take breakfast? I know that's your rule. But she, she said, sure you can. I said, well, I, the, the people up front said I could. She said, I'm going I'm to I'm get you a to-go box. Hold on, I got you. And I was sitting there eating. And I was eating. And I said, well, where's the to-go box? She never brought it. And she came back to me. And she said, I was going to get you a to-go box. And they told me I couldn't do it. I said, oh, man. I said, okay. I tried twice. I went back to the lady at the front. I said, I know you already told me no, but I'm here for a funeral. I'm the pastor, our church mother, and I got the resolution right here. We drove all the way from Houston late last night. She said, oh, come on. I said, thank you. <laughs> I didn't get no to-go plate. I can't get, I got a real plate. I packed that plate up. Y'all know what? Took it on. See, so, I know you got a rule, but sometimes there's an exception to the rule. God loves me and he favors me.
And sometimes you just keep taking stuff, but sometimes you got to go another way. And the same one that told me no the first time escorted me to the buffet. She said, oh, bless your heart. I said, mm -hmm. Is that all right? Is that a thank you, mother? Come on here. You know I loaded it up. I'm closing. But praising and worshiping God while you're going through, that increases your confidence to, for him to deliver you. When you can praise and worship God in the meantime, that increases your confidence that he is going to deliver you. Praise and worshiping God after you come through gives you the confirmation that not only were your prayers answered, but he answered you. Glory to God. Hallelujah with that word. And the Bible says rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. That's in the meantime. Let your gentle spirit be known to all. The Lord is near. Be anxious for nothing. Everything with prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Make your Paul said you ought to be rejoiced in all things. These people have three nations coming against them and they praising God. Three, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We had a homegoing celebration yesterday, and we were praising God. Hallelujah. He said, you shouldn't worry about anything, but in everything give thanks. For this is the will of God for God. Hallelujah. First, somebody said, first, there's rejoicing. Before you go through, while you're going through, and once you come out. You never have a reason to put a pause on praise. Lord Jesus, how's your praise on pause? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Before you go through, while you're going through, and once you come through, and then start over. He said even your prayers should be, should be made with humility and thanksgiving. Is that all right? Now you may be wondering, how can we go before God with confidence and humility at the same time? Doesn't confidence cancel out humility? Absolutely not. Do not make the mistake that confidence, do not mistake confidence with boastfulness. Okay. Okay. Last thing, God, keep your confidence. Somebody has to keep your confidence. Listen, this is the hour we in, and the Lord sh shared this to me last night. You can have confidence in your relationship with God, knowing that when you make a request of him, he will hear and answer, while at the same time, you come in before him with humility. It's about relationship. I got confidence in God, in my relationship with God. Is that all right? That's why I really want to stress all of you. Glory to God. They may be going through something. You go before God. Even he said, I want you. When you pray, that's what about. Even when you pray, pray with confidence. You come boldly before the throne. I don't care what you're going through and what it look and what they saying about you. Knowing that he will answer you. And you should always be rejoicing. And the Bible says that the peace of God. What's the past of all understanding? Another thing they say that, 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 that surpasses all comprehension. Well, guard your heart and your mind. And when you're going through anything, because we go before God with thanksgiving, knowing that he's going to answer our prayer, he said the result is I'm going to give you peace. Lord Jesus. And his peace does exactly what the scripture says it does. God's peace, it makes people wonder. Lord Jesus. Look at somebody. God say God's peace makes people wonder. It makes them scratch their head. How in the world are you sitting here in peace when everything is going on? How in the world are you going through hell and high water and you sitting here in peace? How, how can you have peace like that? Because that's the thing about the peace of God. God's peace cannot be understood. People will wonder how you sleep at night. When you're facing what you're facing. People will wonder, how can you smile in the midst of everything? Peace. God's peace. 
that surpasses all understanding. When you got more bills than money, peace. You got pending, pending allegations, peace. Pending court cases, peace. Pending doctor's reports, peace. Pending litig litigation. People gonna wonder how, 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 and you'll be able to tell them it's the peace of God which is guarding my heart and my mind. Therefore, I cannot worry about this for God has it under control. I choose not to worry. Is that all right? Glory to God. And sometimes when you're protecting your peace, you learn not to get into it all the time. Sometimes peace requires you to be quiet, even if you're right. Why? Because peace is God in my heart. Somebody just really received that. Come on, say peace is God in my heart. Come on, it's God in my mind. Glory to Come on, say I won't be pulled into worry. I won't be, I won't be overly emotional. Come on. I'm not gonna overreact to this. Peace is guarding. Lord Jesus. Do I got a witness in here? Peace is guarding. Wait for the Lord and be of good courage. I'm done and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say on the Lord. Wait, I say. That's a scripture of action. This don't tell you sit down and sit still until God bless you. Glory to God. It's, it's called to do something. Hallelujah. When you wait on God, it's like you a server or a waiter at a fine restaurant. When you wait on God, you humble yourself. Putting on your service apron. I can't get it. You ask him, is there anything I can do for you? Lord Jesus. See, we got the wrong, we got the wrong thing for waiting. You think waiting is sitting here. What you doing? Waiting on God. I can't do I'm just waiting on God. I can't do nothing. No, 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 no. When, when you're a waiter, when you're a waiter, you're a servant. When you're a wait, what can I do for you, Lord? Anything you have me to do? Anything else you need me to do? What are you requiring of me? I'm called to seek first the kingdom. Is that all right? I'm called to seek first. Holy. You pouring yourself out in obedience. Glory to God. Waiting is active. Somebody say that waiting is active. While I'm waiting, I'm working. While I'm waiting, I'm on my grind. While I'm waiting, I'm hustling in the spirit. Glory to God. While I'm waiting, I'm leading. While I'm waiting, I'm expecting. Look at somebody say, what are you doing while you wait? Why you wait? I got seed in the ground. Why you wait? I'm in the meantime. Glory to God. She, she, she said it do, 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 during the welcome. Glory to God. First fruit. That's just the beginning. I'm, I'm now, now I'm maintaining. I can't do and then stop. Plant something and don't ever see about it. Lord Jesus. Go plant the tree in the backyard and don't ever do nothing about it. Go, go plant the tomatoes and all that stuff in the limit and don't do nothing about it. Work while you wait. Somebody said, work while you wait. Say it again, work while you wait. Glory to God. It matters what you do in the meantime. Glory to God. Somebody say, it matters what I do in the meantime. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at somebody, and I want you to prophesy out of there, and I'm done. Glory to God. Look at, look at somebody. I said, keep waiting on God, and you're going to see why God made you wait. My God. Come on, tell somebody, keep waiting on God. And you're going to see why God made you wait. Tell somebody else, keep waiting on God. And you're going to see why God made you wait. Why? Because that was nothing in compared to what's about to happen. That door that closed ain't nothing compared to what's about to. That old thing that fell through is nothing compared to what's about to. You're going to see why God made you wait. Glory to God. And if you think you're praising God now, wait till you see why you had to wait. Wait till you see why God made you wait. Somebody open your mouth and give God praise. Uh-huh. I see why I had to wait. Uh-huh. My God, see why this one took a little time. Don't you know special orders take time? If you common and want what everybody else got, you can get that speedy stuff. But when you got special orders, somebody here got some special orders from God. Come on.
come on here. Hallelujah. When you got some extra stipulation, go through the drive through Y'all don't want to talk in here. If you just want a regular burger, got you. But if you want to toast the bun, grill some onions on it, mushroom, see, look at here, special cheese. Is that all right? They say, listen, I can't get this to you right now quick. You got a special order. It's going to take a little longer. Do you still want it? Yeah, I'll wait on it. Yeah, I'll wait on it. Uh, yeah, I'll wait on it. Yeah, look at somebody say, yeah, I'll wait on it. I didn't have that. <laughs> this going to be bigger. It's going to be better. And see, when God is setting you up, it take a little longer. Oh, Jesus. What you want? Okay, well, it got to be special order. Come on here. All you, all you, all you fresh fries people. Or oh, sir, if I do that, that's going to be an extra five minutes. Okay, I think I'll wait. What you going after in this season? What you've already had? What's average? Or do you want exactly what God is saying? Special orders may take a little longer. I can't get nobody in here. But you're going to see why God made you wait. Anybody in coverage this morning? I'm going to hang on to see why God made me wait. Is that all right? Maybe he making me wait so I can be ready for it. Maybe he making me wait so I can be developed so when I get this exceedingly and abundantly, I'm built up enough to handle that exceedingly and abundantly. Lord Jesus, hallelujah. So at the end of the day, it's all good. Come on, clap your hands for his word today. Come on, somebody say, at the end of the day, it's all good. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you encouraged this morning? That's why the Bible said, don't be anxious for nothing. Because if you're anxious and get it, you ain't ready. You can want a good thing and not be ready for the good thing. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you. You want something up here, but you ain't up here. After a while, we're going to clash. Because we ain't on the same page. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands and receive the anointing for the meantime. The meantime. The meantime. Hallelujah. Lord, Lord, Lord help me to do what I'm doing in the meantime. Hallelujah. Come on, if you're bold enough, just say, Lord, I ain't even rushing you. Come on, say it. I ain't, I ain't even. Because if I rush, I'm going to overlook something. If I rush, I'm going to miss something. <laughs> if I rush, Lord Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on here. I'm going to overlook something. Yeah, glory to God. Hallelujah. If I, if I rush... No, I need to slow cook this. If I rush, it ain't going to turn out right. Lord, <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands as an anointing. Yes, the Lord, help me to wait. 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 I was talking to somebody the other day. They got a situation. Amen. Amen. Sat across the table, had a situation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Got a little bundle of joy on the way. Amen. Amen. Not married. Amen. Told me about it. Amen. Hallelujah. Talk about being together and all that type of stuff. I said, do you see yourself for the future with this person? Well, I don't. I don't know. I don't think. 
Guess what I said? Don't do it! The pastor said, I said don't do it! Because a babe ain't going to make or break you if it ain't what it need to be. Now if it comes around to that, we'll see at that point. But don't you rush! Just because you got a situation. Don't try to make a home for something that ain't a home. Because the baby ain't going to make it right. And the people said, well, we should just be together because. Are we a real house with real wisdom? No. <laughs> Well, now, Bishop, you should have just said, Lord, I'm out here. It's better to marry than to burn. So you should have just said, okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Okay. But the bedroom ain't going to fix all your issues. Lord Jesus. You don't stay in the bedroom 24-7. I can't get nobody in here. Come on here. It got to be more than that. When I'm committing my life and joining my life. Y'all don't. Well, you nice. No, are you my destiny? I know it's quiet right there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands and receive that grace. Lift your hands. In the meantime, I want God's will. Somebody say, I want God's will. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And for skeptical minds, I'm not talking about anybody in this room. <laughs> I ain't talking about nobody in this room. You worried about that, you worried about the wrong thing. Right. <laughs> you need to be worried about the principle of what I'm saying. You missed the whole revelation trying to figure out. And don't ask me after church because I ain't telling you. Well, y'all don't do that. Y'all know I don't tell. <laughs> I don't expose. <laughs> Come on, lift your hands again and say, help me to do in the meantime. You, Jesus. Woo! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you got to say, while I'm doing this, while I'm here, while I'm in this season, while I'm doing, Lord, help me to stay focused in the meantime. Because another season will require different things. Let me do this while I can in the meantime. I can't do that, but in the meantime, I can do this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Just, just, just lift your hands. Just 20 seconds and ask the Lord to help you. Come on in your own way. Just build an altar. Just build an altar. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on. Help me not to rush. Hallelujah. I don't want to move too slow, but I don't want to rush either. <laughs> help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Hallelujah. And you, may, and you may not be dealing with anything right now that requires this word, but you need to hide it in your heart because you don't know what may come up in the near future. And you're going to need this word today. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I ain't telling you to drag your feet, but I ain't telling you to rush either. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm telling you be open to God. Hallelujah. 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 I'm telling you keep stay there long enough until you get revelation from God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And either it's going to draw you or cause it to flee. I'm just telling you stay close to God. 
he'll work out the details. And when you hear God, I don't know why I'm going here. When you hear God, he'll give you that peace that's the past of all understanding. Hallelujah. I met my wife in March and we were married by August. I wouldn't tell anybody to do that. If you asked me today, I wouldn't tell you to do that. Is that all right? But I had heard from God. And when I took her mother to Papa to ask for her hand in marriage, she said, why August? Why so so? I said, because that's when the Lord told me. Am I talking evangelist? Yes. But I'd, but I'd heard from God. Amen. Amen. And I received her mother's blessing. And going on 21 years, let's give the Lord praise. I didn't rush, but after you've been waiting, okay, that's another sermon. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 Because I wasn't going to date just to date. I'm not going to date you five years to see if you're the one. And what if you ain't the one after five years? I didn't get I didn't gave you five years of my life that ended with nothing. And if I don't know about five years. Yeah, it's too long. I'm just exaggerating. I know. I'm just. Lift your hands again because there's an anointing. We're laughing, but there's an anointing. We're laughing, but God is moving in somebody's heart. Woo! We're laughing. We're laughing, but somebody's picking up pace or slowing down pace. There's different rhythms in this room. <laughs> There's different rhythms in this room. You may be at a different pace than your neighbor with certain things. Don't rush because you don't move how your neighbor is moving. Don't try to keep up with your neighbor. We all moving at a different pace. And you try to keep up with me and you don't have the endurance, you're going to pass out. You don't have the grace to do it, you're going to pass out. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Different rhythms. Glory to God. Come on, just snap your fingers. Different rhythms. Different rhythms. Thank you, Jesus. Different rhythms. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Different rhythms. You got to know yourself. Somebody say you got to know yourself. Amen. You got to know yourself. I'm close. I'm not, telling, I'm not telling a lot of stories. I don't tell stories, but it's moving. I took a kickball class the other day. And they were trying to after the class, they was doing some other stuff. And the guy was an amateur boxer and all that stuff. And I said, wonderful. And you working out the 20-year-old like, I said, I'm going to do it. But what's the 40-something-year-old adjustment? Because you, you, you working me like I'm, I'm 23. I'm not, I'm not 23. What's the adjustment? that I need for my season. I'm going to do it, but I ain't going to do it like. And you will burn yourself out allowing people to try to take you at a pace that you ain't ready for. Now that's not a reason to do nothing, but you got to learn your pace and your rhythm. And when people want to pass you up, you say, go ahead. I'll work my way up to that if it comes to that. But my, it, my injuries cost me more at 40 something than at 20 something. Come on, I don't heal as fast. Come on here, thank you. Glory to, I don't recover as fast. It's facts. Come on. I'm trying to preserve cartilage. <laughs> Must. <laughs> Come on, we're laughing, but there's an anointing for somebody because God is restoring balance. And different seasons calls for different adjustments. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, I feel the anointing. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you for the grace for the dealings.